Self-compassion isn't nice. Self-compassion is very, very serious. It's very serious. So I'm saying it's not nice because I want you to get that perception of it uh, almost out of your mind entirely. And the reason for that is it creates a kind of a deafness around it. I was talking with somebody a while ago and this came up and it was the person was having issues with procrastination, okay? And I kind of probed into maybe they were following some of the protocols that are in my book for how to overcome procrastination, right? And one of the very first things in the book is that you put in guilt-free, unconditional um, play for ourselves. Guilt-free play, essentially. So that basically means it's a period of time in your day when there's no goal-related activity permitted and you're just focused on relaxing. Okay, Deep relaxation, effectively, is what it is. And, and you see, the, the problem is person had read that in the book and thought it was nice you see the problem here they thought it was nice and that led to yeah that's a nice idea it sounds nice to prioritize that for myself and then it went into however I have a lot to do etc etc I'm running out of time I don't have time for this and I'll get to it eventually so when we perceive something as nice, it's very dangerous, potentially, because we kind of been, I think, taught to not take nice things seriously. And the, 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 the point I make about overcoming procrastination is that we need to reverse things entirely, because the way we've been conditioned to be productive is entirely wrong. It's push yourself, do more all the time, right? You're running out of time, hustle, everything else. When you put that guilt-free, unconditional play or rest into your day, what it's doing, the important thing it's doing, is it's allowing your nervous system to recognize that it's not in danger. It's essentially important. It's not just that it's meeting the need for you. It's also disarming your nervous system around this. So I want you to, the call to action here, in this video is to take what I talk about and what other people talk about when you're talking about self-compassion and the need for rest and relaxation take it really seriously and let me appeal to something in you if that doesn't resonate I'm going to appeal to your ambition if you want to be successful if you're ambitious if you want to achieve these goals it's essentially important to take this aspect of unconditional guilt-free play and relaxation very very seriously and stop seeing it as this nice sounding idea that is maybe I'll get to it at some point okay it leads to I want to use language that's a little bit more confrontational here so that it, it can get your attention so if for instance if you've been following any of the techniques that I talk about and you're yet to have in your day a sort of a solid period where you know there's no goals and you have regularly consistently built that into as part of your lifestyle I would encourage you to really question why you haven't taken that seriously. Okay, because I notice every time that we don't take it seriously, there's a drop off in productivity and engagement. And it's because the nervous system is becoming resistant to the idea of taking action. So a short video, I hope that's useful and I hope it's gonna to serve to allow you to take this seriously, the idea that it's not a nice sounding idea, it's not a luxury that you're engaging in self-compassion or guilt-free play. It is essentially important. It is the fundam it's the first aspect in this. That has to be in place before we're going to even think about being productive. So keep that in mind. I hope that's a useful reminder. Thanks for being with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Take care.